got some absolutely busted items here. And yes, that's what I like to see. Another Cyber Bowl. And love to see a lucky coin. I just saw a proc hit there for 1100 Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Today, I'm going to be helping you get lucky. I promise you, by the end of this video, you will be getting lucky more than any of your friends. No, not in that way, but in playing this character in Brotato, the lucky character, one of my favorites and one of the strongest characters in the game, although much more different mechanically than some of the others. Today, we're absolutely going to be stomping D5 and showing you how you can recreate that success in your own runs. Uh, so excited to sort of break this thing open uh, here for you today. Uh, Lucky is a really interesting character, as Lucky functions much, much differently than pretty much every other character in the game. Uh, the primary way that Lucky deals damage is not by actually attacking, but by picking up materials. Lucky has a mechanic where you have a 75% chance to deal damage based on your luck to a random enemy around the map. So rather than dealing most of our damage by attacking, we're going to go ahead and pick up all these materials and we can see kind of random enemies there getting pink, uh, plunked across the map uh, as we pick up all these materials. And that's going to be the primary way that we deal damage. Uh, again, that scales off of luck, uh, which is a stat we're really going to be prioritizing as we move through uh, the game. As well as these items like baby elephants that also sort of play in nicely with that luck mechanic. So Lucky gets 100 luck to start. In addition, they get a 25% bonus to all the luck uh, that they pick up, which makes picking up luck extra effective. So you definitely want to prioritize luck on this character. However, they do have a relatively steep attack penalty with 60% slower attack speed, as well as a 50% penalty to XP. Uh, this essentially signals to us, and I do think it's how the character is meant to be played, that we want the majority of our damage to come from picking up these materials as we see uh, the materials, again, taking out random enemies. Um, and so we're going to talk about all the mechanics that we need in order to sort of make that uh, more efficient. I uh, really do like the claw tree, uh, get that melee damage up just a little bit, and I do like the alien eyes as well, uh, which are, I think are, are pretty effective on this character. And we're going to talk about a couple of those items that we just locked there in just a moment. Um, this character is very strong. I, I would say one of the stronger characters in the game, although a little uh, sort of hard to grasp at first. You know, when I do these runs, I tend to do a bunch of practice runs, make sure I'm up to date on all the current mechanics as the game sort of changes relatively frequently with all the patches. And I believe I've won about 10 runs in a row on D5 here, uh, practicing this character. So I'm confident this is the way that you want to play Lucky. There's a bunch of different weapons that you can start with. I do think the strongest in the current point 803 uh, version of the game is definitely the stick. Uh, stick is a really strong item in this current patch. Uh, in addition, um, it sort of scales off of itself, which I think is quite good uh, with Lucky in particular. Uh, I do like Alien Eyes quite a bit on this character, and same with Little Frog. Uh, Little Frog gives us a little bit more of a pickup radius, and I do think a pickup radius is really, really good. So anything that increases the uh, chance, or sorry, the range that we can pick up these materials makes it easier to pick up materials, so we deal more damage, uh, et cetera, et cetera, uh, is quite, quite good. But I do think sticks are a relatively strong way to play this character. They scale off themselves, they have really good base damage, uh, and they work really, really well, most importantly, with percent damage. And percent damage is really a, a tribute you want to heavily prioritize in this character, because our luck proc that's firing off around the map does in fact scale with percent damage. So the two ways we can make that stronger is by increasing our luck and by increasing our percent damage, and that also works well with sticks. So I just think uh, sticks uh, go well on this character. Um, really like a ritual, again, giving us percent damage and lifesteal, both things we like to see. And again, I like percent damage, so we'll go ahead and start getting that up as we build out our sort of uh, repertoire of sticks here. Even though it does reduce our percent damage, I do want to get this luck as high as possible, and I do like uh, round our sticks out here. We'll go ahead and upgrade a stick, and take another Ritual. I mean, I do think Ritual is one of the better items on this character. Again, giving us flat percent damage at no penalty or a negligible penalty with Engineering, I think is really, really an effective way to go. Um, one of these sort of interesting uh, non-bows of this character is there are three items in the game which sort of contribute the luck kit, as in three items that you know work off your luck, and they're all actually common. Uh, the Baby Gecko, uh, the Baby Elephant, and the uh, Cyber Bolt are all items you really want to prioritize on this character. Um, and incidentally enough, they're all common. So as we increase our luck, we actually reduce our chances. We're going to see those really, really powerful common items. So there is a bit of a nambo that the luck scaling items are in fact common and don't, and, you know, become harder to find as we increase our luck. Um, but uh, that said, a minor sort of penalty uh, as we're not able to uh, take the character out. Love trees, and I like anything that helps us scale with luck, like the trees, uh, like the um, recycling machine. Um, we'll get our melee damage up just just a touch there. 
Uh, and I do like speed quite a bit on this character. I think speed's really something you should prioritize as well, simply because the faster you move, the quicker you can run over materials, and the quicker you can pick up uh, you know, more things. So uh, I do like luck quite a bit uh, as we go ahead and fail to kill that first egg, but that's all right. Um, so again, I really like speed uh, as well, making it easier to, uh, oh, uh, picked, <laughs> plunked him right, right, right in time there. Um, you know, luck as well scales the a number of chests you're gonna see. Um, you get a better chance to see chests as you increase your luck speed. So I do think, um, you know, anything like trees, uh, like that help you uh, see more and more chests are, are really a good item on this character. Uh, in addition, luck does increase the amount of fruits you see on the map, um, which are these little healing items that drop. They can drop from trees. They can also drop from enemies. Um, so I am uh, quite happy um, for anything that makes our fruit stronger as well, as I do think that's the most efficient way to heal in this character, which we'll talk a little bit more as we keep going. Do love another beanie. Don't need a uh, mutation. I do, I do think luck is sort of I'm sorry, crit is sort of medium on this character. But this is the type of stuff we're looking for. Really love a bowling hat, giving us a huge chunk of luck, a huge chunk of harvesting, and we will be taking the wings. Uh, I don't think we need the lumberjack shirt. Um, sort of tempted by the silver bullet, but we'll hang off for now. Really like a bag. Again, bag is one of the better items on this character. Since we get so much luck, we see so many crates, um, you know, that ends up providing ourselves, uh, or giving us a lot of materials. It's not uncommon in later waves in this game to be getting, um, you know, five, six crates uh, a wave. So it ends up being a lot, uh, a lot of extra materials there. Um, you know, I like the alien eyes a lot as well. The reason being is you really want to prioritize percent damage on this character. Alien eyes do scale off percent damage and more ways you can sort of incidentally kill characters or kill enemies on this character. I think is a really good thing. Uh, the alien eyes just help get some initial enemies on the map, uh, take some of them out. You can start picking up materials and really start the chain reactions of dealing damage. Um, you know, again, we just want to get some enemies on the ground dead. We can go ahead and pick up all these materials. And like you can see here, we're just picking up materials and we're able to basically cle uh, keep the map clear as we sort of gotten ahead of the wave as we're just picking up materials and taking out the enemies um, as fast as we can. So when this character is coming together, you'll end up doing a pretty good job of keeping the map clear. Like a free boxing glove, you know, free tentacle, uh, not a bad thing. Looking for a little bit of a better upgrade here. We'll go ahead and take a little more speed because I do like speed quite a bit. Do you like wings? Again, getting that speed up. Uh, don't really think I want a fin because our speed is, is good enough. I don't want to reduce our luck too much. Uh, we'll take a ritual again, focusing on the percent damage. Uh, and since we get a hunting trophy, I will take a sunglasses. Um, you know, hunting trophy isn't amazing on this character. I do think we're sort of early on enough where we can get some value at it. Um, interestingly enough, that luck, you can see that luck damage proc, that actually can't crit, which is weird. Uh, however, the cyber ball, uh, which is a luck adjacent item that deals random damage to an enemy when an enemy dies based on your luck, that item can actually crit. Um, I do think crit's okay on this character in the sense it helps your stick sort of take out the bosses, take out the elites, uh, but it's not like as amazing as it is on other characters. So uh, we'll sort of see if this hunting trophy pans out. I do think it, it will be, at least give us our money back, although uh, it may not be quite as good as it is in other characters, simply because we're gonna be taking out so many of the enemies uh, using uh, this luck mechanic when we pick up materials that we're not going to get as much mileage out of it as we might on some others. Um, but we'll go ahead and give it a shot. We're clearing wave uh, nine really, really easily here. You see just our luck procs, uh, just keeping the map super, super clear. Um, and uh, that's that's going to work out for us super, super well as we seem to be sailing. But you can see we're really doing a good job keeping the map clear and like our weapon tier is not very good at all. Like we got two, two grays, uh, or far, sorry, me, four common weapons, only two blue. Like that's not good. But, um, you know, just our luck being such a huge part of our damage, I think is quite good. So some really good items here. Uh, blindfold, getting our dodge back positive. Really like a glass cannon. Again, percent damage is awesome. And for the same reason, I do like the bait. I do think one wings is enough. And this, I really think, is the key item to making this character sing, is this Cyber Ball. I do think this is actually the best item on this character. 25% chance to deal 81 damage, 25% luck scaling, to a random enemy when an enemy dies. And the reason this item is so good is we'll run to situations where our luck will randomly, you know, that luck proc will randomly take an enemy out on the map. Um, in that case, uh, that item, that enemy that we just took out randomly via our luck proc, then has a chance to deal 25% uh, chance to then take out another random enemy on the map. So the side rolls are really, really strong and sort of chaining together chain reactions like deaths. As in you, you take an enemy out via random proc, uh, that enemy then takes out another enemy via the cyberball proc, and that cyberball proc can indeed crit. So uh, really, really like cyberballs. Pick up every single one you see. 
And I do think Cyber Bowls are kind of the key. You'll, you'll need a Cyber Bowl to win, but to have like an insanely busted run where you just put together huge, hilarious chain reactions of like luck damage, uh, Cyber Bowl are really, really, really strong. Uh, so really happy to see our first one there. I have had runs where you get a ton of them and it just becomes absolutely bonkers. So hopefully that will be a sort of fortuitous, um, you know, sign that we're going to have a lucky run here uh, today. Um, but off to a good start here, even though our weapons, you know, on the surface don't look very good. Don't need incinerates, right? Uh, we do want to get our melee damage up a little bit. You know, I do want to get enough damage with our uh, our sticks that we can take out bosses, right? Bosses and elites relatively easily. And we got some absolutely busted items here. Extra stomach. Love to see it. Crown. Love to see it. Um, so extra stomach is so, so strong on this character because our luck that we're just going to keep climbing high and high and higher, uh, you know, does increase the amount of fruits uh, on the map. So that luck uh, will really make it easy for us to hit uh, that cap of 10 uh, fruits. Uh, sorry, so with uh, with extra stomach, you can get up to 10 max, uh, ten extra max HP from picking up these fruits. Um, so we'll be getting pretty close to hitting that uh, that cap there um, most most uh, most waves. So really, really happy to see that. So we are on a horde wave here. Uh, the good news is um, Lucky, I think, actually handles the horde waves really, really well. I think Lucky does a better job on the horde waves than they do on normal elites, simply because you can sort of run around, pick up all these materials, take out random enemies all over the map. You know, we're not playing super safe here, which is sort of uh, maybe not how we want to do it with the extra stomach, but you can see we're just doing a great job as we prioritize picking up all these materials of just keeping these uh, waves nice and clear. Uh, again, this is a horde wave, and like there's barely any, any enemies alive on the map. Uh, again, just showing the power if we build around this. And look at that. How many crates are we at? Five crates. Really love to see that. Get our luck nice and high. At this point, this is just a flat 15% luck. Uh, you know, obviously, um, elemental damage and engineering don't do a lot. So really happy to see that wolf helmet. Don't need a scope. And I do like weird food, again, because there's so much, uh, so many fruits that are going to be on the map. And really like a peacock here to help offset some of that damage bonus. Uh, and I will take the legendary melee damage over of the luck, although it was not an easy choice. So this peacock is really, really nice, helps offset the XP gain. And again, the big sort of drawback to this character is 60% reduced attack speed, which is actually a, a pretty steep penalty. Uh, really like another alien eyes, uh, really like uh, coffee there. And then like a spicy sauce, even though that's not an item I normally, normally like, but I think we got some other things that, that work well. And I really like a cute monkey. So let's talk a little bit about that attack speed penalty because I think it's sort of important when thinking about how to build this character. In a normal game, pardon me, uh, as I smack my mic there trying to enunciate, uh, in my normal games, I really like life steal is the best way to heal, uh, followed by, you know, HP regen can be okay. Um, life steal is not nearly as good on this character as it is on others. And the reason being is life steal scales off your attack. As in when you attack, life steal has a chance to trigger, not when you deal damage. This means with that really, really steep 60% attack penalty, um, you know, you are not going to get nearly as much value out of life steal as you might otherwise. Uh, the way I like to actually heal on this character compared to some of the others is two ways. One, by getting the weird fruits and the lemonades, which makes the fruits even stronger and heal more. I think that's a really effective way to heal. With all our awesome luck, we're going to see tons of fruits on the map. Um, but the other way I like to heal is the cute monkeys, uh, again, because we're already prioritizing picking up um, materials so heavily anyway that getting uh, getting a little healing, uh, a percent chance to heal is, is quite strong. So fruits and monkeys are sort of my preferred way to heal on this character rather than like the traditional lifesteal. Uh, but you may not always be able to pull together. Uh, really like a free silver bullet, don't need a statue. And again, we really want to crank this percent damage as high. You can see we're already at 98, which is really, really good. And we'll get that speed a little bit, a little bit uh, higher. Um, we'll go ahead and take 10 harvesting and love a bowler hat. Really get this luck nice and high. Um, and we have enough sort of robustness at this point where I feel comfortable taking a blood donation. We'll take a peaceful B just to get a little more uh, dodge. I do think we want to get dodge online at some point. I do think piggy bank can be quite strong on this character, but uh, ends up making the run look a little bit different. Um, so you may be thinking, should I be taking a piggy bank or should I be taking a uh, blood bag when I do have uh, the extra extra stomach? Uh, because obviously we're going to be uh, taking a lot more damage. So we're not going to be able to pick up, um, pick up fruits at full health like at all. Uh, I do think it's still generally worth it in a case-by-case -case basis. You know, with our crown, I do think getting uh, getting that harvesting is worth it, but not always. Uh, the nice thing is, is at the end of the map, uh, you know, we end up pulling all those fruits on the map to us. Uh, so I do think we're able to get enough value of the uh, extra stomach. I have ran into the blood bag slash extra lung combination or bloody hand, blood bag, bloody hand, extra stomach combination on this character before. And I have found you are able to typically get most of that 10 max HP per run. Um, with it, um, simply because at the end of the map, you're going to be pulling all these fruits right back to you, uh, and you'll usually be close enough to full health where you're able to get a lot of value out of it. So do make that decision carefully. It's not like a, you know, 
you have to do it this way type decision. And you do want to maybe be a little more judicious about when you pick up. Uh, but you can see just pulling all those fruits there, uh, getting a ton of max HP from the extra lung, which I really like to see. So we keep getting this max HP nice and high and weird food for that reason, alien tongue. Um, really like a tentacle. I'll take a metal as well. Um, and again, look at this. We're, we're absolutely demolishing the maps and we have like terrible weapons, which just shows the power of that luck. I really do like a mice, a mouse. Um, and we'll go ahead and take this propeller as well to keep that luck nice and high. So we may struggle a little bit uh, on this here elite, but I think we'll be able to take the elite out and then we'll go ahead and move, uh, you know, to maybe doing a little bit more melee damage. You know, I do think melee damage uh, and all that, you know, it can be useful. I mean, you want to build around luck first, but uh, getting a good sort of, um, you know, melee damage is a good thing uh, simply because... Uh, helps you kill the bosses and it leads a little quicker, which again just make makes your life easier even if it's not necessary. But you can see there, relatively efficient boss kill, and like we've got the map clear, right? We're we're doing such a good job uh, dealing enough damage with our luck, uh, which is plunking there for that luck just hit for 150, 240. Uh, that's really really strong. So we're able to one shot most smaller enemies on the map, um, you know. And again, letting our luck do the work. I mean, we're running around, we're picking up these materials, we're getting really lucky. We found a silver dollar, we found maybe a sack of Juia, uh, you know, a coin, a dollar coin, like we're really getting lucky. All that luck we're picking up is, uh, you know, <laughs> helping us keep the enemies uh, nice and clear. But you can see this run really starting to come together here, despite relatively meager weapons. Even for free, don't like an explosive turret, free tentacle, why not? And yes, that's what I like to see, another cyberball. You can see I already dealt 24,000 damage, and that's going to get even higher. And love to see a baby gecko, 20% chance to instantly attract a material to us, which again will help, um, uh, which will help us, uh, you know, get those chain reactions going. Love a propeller at, love a mice. And again, we've got all one weapon, focus just a flat 30% damage for 3%. Uh, reduced um, attack speed, love that, and love a power generator. That's really, really strong. Uh, again, helping us crank this percent damage nice and high. We're at wave 15, and we're already at 168 uh, percent, you know, percent damage. Absolutely, just coming together here. Uh, so, really do like to see that. You know, we're now plunking off our uh, lucky procs 203 damage already. I mean, that'd be good at the end of the game. Um, you know, our luck is is okay, 300. I like to be between 400 and 500 at the end of the map. So we're off to a really, long, a really, really strong start here. You know, we pick up a couple more baby geckos, and like you get to the point where you don't even have to, um, you, you don't even have to do much. You just kill a few enemies and just sort of hang around the map. Uh, so it can be really, really, really fun. Uh, but you can see here, uh, really just coming together and that percent damage scaling super, super well with our sticks. Um, you know, as we sort of whack enemies for a 376 crit, which is not bad at all so you can see this luck really really coming together you know we're the luckiest potato in all the lands um and that just feels really really good because he doesn't like to be lucky i mean i do it makes up for how bad i am and everything else but uh lucky is a you know lucky is a good attribute to have and while i lack it in real life i can recreate fantasies in this character uh with this character as i get more and more luck but you see it really just coming together here don't need a snake don't need a metal detector and i love another gentle alien and we'll go ahead and, and keep getting that luck up you know lucky does such a good job uh with uh, horde waves of enemies, but dealing with lots of enemies that uh, I do think um, any of the gentle aliens, any of the mice, are really things we want to prioritize. Uh, we're going into wave 16. Yeah, let's take another peacock. Why not? We'll take a claw tree. Happy to see that. And we will take another gentle alien. And another cyber ball. That is what I love to see. We'll get our range up a little bit. Uh, with three armor, I will take a helmet. So we'll go ahead and buy all those items next time. But that cyber ball, now with three cyber balls, uh, is or two cyber balls, that's really going to help. So now whenever we take out an enemy with their luck proc, there's a 50% chance that they'll take out another enemy with their with their luck proc. So uh, that really does come together and help you just sort of really just do these awesome chain reactions. One thing to note is the trees cannot be hit by your lucky procs, so you do have to sort of still seek them out on the map. Um, but you can see it's absolutely coming together here with 117 um, you know, 117 health already. Now that those alien eyes, which we've picked up a couple, again, are actually going to be hitting for quite a bit. I think I just saw one hit there for 167. And again, really do like alien eyes. I like things that give you tertiary ways to take enemies out on the map. So things like uh, uh, Rip and Tear is a really, really strong item on this character. Scales with melee, helps you create chain reaction explosions. Um, so I really like the alien eyes as they scale with percent damage. And they do a really good job of sort of taking out random uh, enemies on the map. So you can pick up all the materials and again, really just get going. And you can see all these awesome crates we're getting here. Uh, again, averaging four to five crates a wave. Again, with all that luck, really just rewarding us with all these awesome items. Uh, alloy for free. I think we're strong enough where uh, we can survive a little bit of a low dodge. And love to see a lucky coin, you know, with 32 crit, giving us a whopping 64 luck. Love to see that. And we'll go ahead and take a bat. 
I'll go ahead and take the 16% damage. And we will take a little armor. I do think one is, is a little low. But take the gentle aim more. That means take the cyberball, putting us at three. That's going to really crank our damage and take the helmet for a little more armor. Love to see that. Uh, we're finally getting around to uh, upgrading our sticks. Uh, we'll get wave 17, wave 18, wave 19. That's nine max HP uh, and three life steal. I do think that's worth it. And we'll go ahead and pick up a lucky charm next wave, which I think will really be good. So we're going to be strong enough, I think, to take out this elite relatively strong. You see all our percent damage coming together. We don't even need to worry about the eggs because our uh, lucky uh, procs are taking out all the eggs here. But again, just showing, even though our melee damage is a relatively pedestrian 22, you know, that's not good for a melee weapon. All that percent damage really coming together uh, and just help us demolish that elite in a way that, like, again, no challenge. Um, so having a lot of fun this run, we're really seeing to come together. A little bit about me. My name is Sean. Uh, I run a channel here called Sean Tier. I've been running it for about a month. I uh, play on the term S Tier and my name is Sean. Goal here is to take a little bit more of an analytical look at Protato, doing fully commentated D5 runs to help you win. Well, keeping it light, keeping it fun. Uh, key hallmark of this channel is I try to keep it moving quickly, right? Most of my runs are under 20, 25 minutes. And the whole point is keep the action moving, keep it fun, keep it fast paced, and do the type of gameplay content I do enjoy. Uh, if you toss me a like, or not even a like and a subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. And if you even leave a positive comment, I promise you, you'll be blessed with the luckiest lucky run you will ever have lucked before. Uh, will that actually happen to you? Uh, I don't know, but uh, if you do that, I will love you forever. Anyway, uh, don't really need the uh, medical potion. HP regen uh, is now a place we're going. And again, I don't think we need the blood uh, or the or the uh, gummy berserker tractor. Um, you know, we're at so much percent damage that I think it'll just about pay for itself. So we'll take that. And we'll go ahead and take the three armor and a little more speed. That means speed is raw percent damage uh, at this point with that. Um, with that uh, uh, power generator. Um, again, bloody hand with 50% life steal. A little greedy here. But, you know, we don't we don't get to the top by not being greedy. So, should you do that at home? Maybe, maybe not. But I think this run's just coming together so much. I will be greedy and take it. Really like a little more melee uh, damage. And we'll go ahead and take the tentacle. So, the big weakness on this character is dodge. We are at negative dodge going here into the bosses. But we're doing so much damage that I do not think it will be uh, worth it. We're about to get lucky. The bosses are not. So I think we're absolutely going to demolish these bosses. And you can see just that little bit of melee damage we picked up, really making our crits do way more damage. We're already critting for not 594. Uh, that's really, really strong uh, on this character. And we'll, we'll, we'll get that up, I think, a decent amount in the next two waves. But you can see just picking up all these items here. Uh, you know, we're picking up more materials. You know, we're picking up materials at a fast enough clip and dealing enough damage that, uh, you know, the enemies are just falling. I mean, I just saw us hit there for 776. Wow. That's pretty crazy. I just saw a 380 damage Cyberball Park. I think I'm seeing procs for 700. I'm kind of looking around the map here. Um, but again, just showing the absolute power. Uh, so you can see there, we uh, just our Cyberball just crit, uh, which is really, really strong. Um, but really just demolishing this run. And this is the advantage of the speed is we're able to run around and uh, really pick everything up, which we like to see. Uh, more luck. Love to see it. More luck. Love to see it. Uh, again, we'll take a percent damage, so nice slew of good items there. Uh, we have so much luck, I'm looking for something a little better. I do think a little bit more attack speed uh, is good with this big penalty here. I uh, really like a mastery. Uh, too late for the piggy bank. Uh, we'll take a little more melee damage. Um, and again, keep, keep upgrading our sticks uh, as we need. And then finally get a legendary stick and then a baby elephant as well. So again, not amazing weapons or anything, but we are absolutely just going to demolish the end of this run. As you see, you know, our normal cyberball proc. I just saw a proc hit there for 1,100. Oh my gosh. That may be my personal record. I mean, that, that's a crazy, uh, crazy run. But again, the good thing about this is it's relatively consistent. You know, I, I, I do a bunch of practice runs just to sort of re-familiarize with mechanics and the sort of current state of the game. And I got to say, it's a really strong character. I probably did about 10 practice runs and I truthfully didn't lose once. So I do think this is a really effective way to play the character or one that you should be able to recreate yourself for an easy D5 win as you break the game with your own lucky ambitions. Um, but you can see here, uh, man, I just saw 882 proc. Man, we are procking like crazy here. Uh, this is some absolutely bonkers, uh, bonkers damage. Uh, but love to see it. Again, just really stacking that percent damage. And we're at 259% damage. And that's without ghost weapons. I mean, that's hugely impressive. Uh, we are just rocking and rolling this. Um, so really happy to see this see this come together in a really sort of satisfying way as we sort of will take out last street for one last item, which we love to see. Don't need a lens, don't need a snake, don't need a triangle power. Uh, we're not going to be dodge positive, so we'll go and hold off on that. And I will go ahead and take the melee damage there just to help us kill the boss a little faster. And love another gecko. Now 40% of all materials will, will suck directly to us, which again will help us uh, take out these elites. Uh, since we're negative dodge, sure, we'll take another alloy. Uh, happy to see that. 
Um, we'll take a tentacle. Maybe should have taken that acid. You know, we're not going dodge here, so we don't need either one of those. Uh, and again, really happy to see another uh, uh, legendary stick there, uh, giving us a much better weapon. You can see our percent damage does get reflected in our character sheet. So our stick's hitting for 424 damage. And we'll go ahead and take a metal just for a little survivability. But I have a feeling we're absolutely going to demolish these bosses. Uh, you can see there just one sort of kick of weapons uh, taking like 25% of the boss's health out. Uh, but I do want to try to prioritize uh, killing some of the elites, or sorry, some of the uh, minions on the ground here uh, as I sort of, eh, we'll let him go. Um, are taking a decent amount of damage, but uh, that's okay. That's why we have all that amazing HP as we'll go ahead and take these Two bosses out, relatively simply. You can see all the luck procs there, uh, just crushing. But you can see absolutely bonkers run here. Uh, fun fact, the uh, baby elephant does in fact show how much damage your luck proc does. So you can see 223,000 damage. Uh, yeah, 223,000 damage and then the cyber ball coming with another 140,000 damage. So really want to pick up that cyber ball. But again, go ahead and use the strategy. Give it a try. Let me know how it works. And you will be stomping D5 with Lucky yourself before no time. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care.